Hi! In this video, we're going to be looking at linear equations. This is the introductory video to linear equations. And so all we're, all we're going to be doing in this video is looking at how to graph lines. Okay? And we're going to graph lines just looking at the set of points. And let me tell you what I mean. Uh, here we have a linear equation. This is called a linear equation because, well, if you look at the word linear, you'll see that it includes the word line in there. And when we graph this equation, as you'll see, it's going to look like a line. Okay? Uh, sorry, my handwriting is kind of lousy. This should be an A-R like that. Okay? L-I-N-E-A-R. Okay, so anyway, this particular equation says y equals x plus 3. What this means is we're going to be looking at all the points where the y coordinate is the x coordinate plus 3. So let's think up some points like that. Uh, I'm going to make a little table here. And uh, I've got my x coordinate and I've got my y coordinate. And, um, well, let's see. Uh, if x were 0, uh, then 0 plus 3 would be 3. So I'm going to put a 3 there. If uh, x were 1, then 1 plus 3 is going to be 4. And if x were 2, then 2 plus 3 is going to be 5. And if x were 3, then 3 plus 3 is going to be 6. And you see the pattern. Each time as I step up 1 for the x, I'm going to step up 1 for the y as well. Okay, now let's have a little refresher on how to uh, plot points. This is the origin. This is the point 0, 0. So if I want to graph the point 0, 3, I'm, my x-coordinate tells me how far left and right to go. My y-coordinate tells me how far up and down to go. Okay? So the point 0, 3 is going to not go anywhere left and right because it's 0. And then we're going to go 1, 2, 3 like that. So we're going to end up at that point, the point 0, 3 right there. Okay? Uh, the point 1, 4, we're going to come 1 over in this direction, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. So we're going to end up right here. The point 2, 5, we're going to go 1, 2 to the right, because it's positive, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up, because it's positive. And so we end up at this point, 3, 6, you can kind of see where this pattern is going. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so we end up with these points, which you will notice line up very nicely. If I grab a straight edge here, and I put it here, I can draw a nice little line. And this is the line, y equals x plus 3, or it's pretty close to it. Okay? Every single point on this line has the characteristic that when you add 3 to the x-coordinate, you get the y-coordinate. For example, this point right here. The x-coordinate is negative 4, the y-coordinate is negative 1. Sure enough, negative 4 plus 3 equals negative 1. So that is the line y equals x plus 3. Uh, let's look at another one. Let's look at a graph of the line y equals 2x. Okay. This time, again, I'm going to make my table, x and y. And, well, let's see. When x is, I always like to start with the, the easiest point, 0. And I'm going to put it down here so I can fit in a couple of negative points as well. Uh, when x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0. When x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. When x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. And likewise, when x is negative 1, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. When x is negative 2, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And we get these five points to start with. Now remember, these are not the only five points in the line. I just happen to choose these particular x's. And the value of y, of course, depends on the x's that I choose. So, uh, but what we're going to find is, we're going to find that it, when we connect the dots, we get a line. And that line contains an infinite number of points all of whom have this characteristic where the y-coordinate is going to be 2 times the x-coordinate. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see where that is. 
the point zero zero lies right here at the origin. Uh, the point one two one two is right there. The point two four one two one two three four. And I already see how this is lining up, but let me just uh, do the other ones as well. Point negative two, negative four, negative two, one, two, three, four. And the point negative one, negative two, negative one, negative two. Okay, so all five of those lines line up very, very nicely. And again, I can pull out my straight edge here and I can make a really nice straight line that, oh, my lines are not as good as they could be. But uh, you can tell that this goes through, oh, let's say this point right here. What is this point? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure enough, the point four, eight, if you think about it, the y coordinate eight equals two times the x coordinate four. So every single point on this line has the characteristic that the y coordinate is two times the x coordinate. Let's look at one more. Let's look at the line y equals one half x minus four. So now we're starting to get uh, a tad more complicated here. Uh, draw my table. And again, I'm going to start with x being zero. When x is zero, one half of zero is still zero. Minus four is uh, negative four. And I'm going to count up by twos this time because I'm taking half of the number and taking half of an even number is a little easier than taking half of a non number. Uh, one half of two is one minus four is negative three. One half of four is two minus four is negative two. One half of six is three minus four is negative one. One half of eight is four minus four is zero. And uh, so uh, let's see where these points lie. Zero, negative four. Remember, you start at the origin. Zero says you don't go anywhere left or right, but you go down four. So we're going to end up at this point right here. And uh, two, three, two, I'm sorry, two, negative three says that I'm going to the right two and then down three. So I'm going to end up at this point right here. Four, negative two says I go one, two, three, four, and then down two. And I think you can see the pattern. Six, negative one says I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, down one. And again, these points are lining up very nicely. Eight, zero says I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I don't go up or down because that y coordinate is zero. So I get that very nice line there. You can tell that I'm a fan of lines. Okay, so uh, this is going to look something like this. Okay, this line that goes through all of these points, and again, every single point on this line has the characteristic that when you multiply uh, the x coordinate by one half and then subtract four from that, you get the y coordinate. For example, this point right here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. If you take half of ten, that's five. Minus four is one. Uh, this point right here is the point negative four, one, two, three, four, five, six, negative four, negative six. If you take half of negative four, that's negative two. Minus four gets you negative six. Every single point on the line has that characteristic, and so that's an easy way to graph lines.